Okay, so let's talk about this. Okay, so what are they saying uh, in this red, blue, green high school? Each student plays either cricket or football. Now there are sixty students. Thirty-six play cricket, twenty-four play football. We need to find how many students play both the sports. Okay. Uh, now what we need to understand here is. if you draw the venn diagram first okay so what is the first thing that you need to do put a rectangle okay rectangle represents universal set right so put a rectangle here okay so this is your universal set now in this context what is the universal set the universal set is basically Om, what does the universal set represent here in this context? Real number. The number. Number. Real number. Students. But uh, from the example, what does it represent? What set does it uh, represent? Total, total number of students, sixty. Very good. Okay, so total number of students. So basically, uh, students in a class in this school. Okay, so we don't know which class is that, but students in that class. So. So we can just say students in a class. That is a universal set. Okay, so you can put U here, and the number of students. Maybe you can put it in a bracket. <coughs> so that means the rectangle. Okay, so the rectangle has sixty students, or you can say the number of elements in that set, n of U, is sixty. And again, I think symbols wise, ah, uh, thoda time lagega apko samajne mein. Okay, so but uh, I will repeat these things. Okay, so how do you write n of u? Okay, so this is one way to write n of u is sixty. कभी कभी आपको ऐसे भी दिख जाएगा. You use this uh, vertical bars, and then is vertical bars के अंदर you place the set. That also means number of elements in that set. Both these both these notations. Okay, so n of u. means number of elements in that uh, set and then when you place these vertical bars u in between that also means number of elements in the set okay ye notations slowly i think uh, thoda revise karte jao you will understand this okay so 60 ye ho gaya mm -hmm. and now you have uh, two sports okay so there are uh, students playing cricket there are students playing football okay there are students playing both the games okay now to represent students playing cricket you need a set okay and that is a subset of this universal set total students in the class so usually circles are used to represent subsets so you draw two circles because there are only two games here so you draw two circles here okay so that is one circle or ellipse doesn't matter okay circle or ellipse now one circle represents number of students playing cricket so maybe you can use symbol c for that okay how many are playing cricket 36 so uh, beside uh, that you just place 36 number to indicate that the number of students playing cricket is 36 similarly uh, letter f stands for number of students playing or the students playing uh, football okay so that's a set of students playing football so how many are playing football 24 now out of this 36 and 24 there will be students who are playing both the sports okay so that is where you have this intersecting uh, region right so intersecting region we need to find how many are there in that intersecting set okay so if i take this this intersecting part is represented by a set c intersection f right c intersection f now we need to find how many are there okay so you can just place an x let's say that is an unknown x so we want to find that x okay i, I hope x is visible or shall i take a different color Let me take. Uh, let me take red. Okay. So x. Then <clears throat> now from the information, 
uh, are there any students who are not playing any of the games are there any students who are not playing any of the games because the problem says each student plays either cricket or football so that means it's kind of sports is compulsory in this school type of situation right so in this uh, region outside c union uh, f okay outside c union f there are no students do you guys understand this ye jo region hai this is outside c union f there are no students here so that means this immediately tells us that if i add numbers in this entire set what is this entire set which i am highlighting this is c union f okay so if i add all the elements in this sense add the number of students in all in the entire set i should get 60 hmm? understand home so now to do that one way to do that is like identify how many are playing only cricket so how many are playing only cricket 36 are playing cricket and out of 36 x are playing cricket and football so 36 minus x are playing only cricket so this uh, let's say this region represents the set of students playing only cricket similarly figure out how many are playing only football so this set or this region represents the set of students playing only football so you can say this is 24 minus x now if you add all these three numbers you should get 60 right so 36 minus x plus x plus 24 minus x that should give you 60 so what do we have i think one x will disappear i have 36 plus 24 so that is how much 60 plus x is 60 so that means x is what x is simply zero so the diagram that we have drawn does not really represent what is going on because these two sets are not really intersecting because x is zero do we understand so the reality is actually something different the reality kind of looks something like this so if i have the rectangle oh, what is happening so the reality is something like this so they are kind of disjoint they are disjoint sets not kind they are disjoint sets right there's nothing common okay so yahan par 36 hai yahan par 24 and another alternative is uh, you can if you don't want to draw diagrams you can visualize what is going on in the mind okay with practice i think that happens okay with practice that happens so you can write okay so the number of uh, elements in c union f will be number of elements in set c that means number of students playing cricket plus number of elements in set f that means number of uh, students playing football are what is <laughs> uh, okay i think i should have passed it just a minute guys i forget to charge pencil every time okay so number of students playing cricket and football so if you substitute in this so 60 is equal to 36 Plus twenty four minus number of C intersection. F. So you will get zero from there. Do, do you see this? Om, you are okay. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Okay. So, okay. So I'll pause here for uh, a minute. Let me know if you have questions. Then we'll go to the next problem. Okay. 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 So now, okay. So. Yeah, uh, Harsha. Even if you have tried this, try again. I'll pause a minute and then we'll discuss this. Okay. Yeah. Om, try this one as well. Okay, so read carefully and then try. Good job. Uh, okay, so say that again, Om. You're saying one fifty. Ah, yes, sir, one fifty. 
okay we will we'll verify the answer i think answers are at the end how about uh, you harsha what, what do you think answer you getting 250 okay so let's discuss uh, so again how many sets are there uh, there are only two activities here right uh, people are jogging or swimming uh, so two sets will do right so first you have that uh, rectangle to represent a number of uh, residents in the colony so maybe at the side put a number 450 okay now one circle to represent uh, people who jog another circle to represent people who swim and again uh, instead of using a and b you should always select i mean my preference my suggestion is select a letter that represents the activity so maybe j is the set of uh, people who jog s is the set of people who swim now put numbers okay so 125 like to jog so by the side of uh, j put 125 so that is the number of uh, people jogging okay so inside number of elements in that set j similarly 175 here now what is that we need to find we need to find how many residents neither like to jog nor like to swim so we want to figure out how many are there outside this j union s right so whatever i'm shading that is also a set that region is used to represent a set okay so how many neither like to jog nor like to swim so if i can figure out out of 450 how many are there in this region okay so this region represents j union s so but to figure out this i need to know how many are there in the intersecting part first okay again the same uh, problem as the previous one so imagine okay so let x be the number of residents who jog as well as swim so how many are only jogging 125 minus x how many are only swimming 175 minus x okay uh but uh, is x given to us uh, x yes, is given sir. to us you don't have to find right so i think uh, i was not looking at that x is actually given to us so yes. this x is not really important okay so okay that is my mistake so x is given to us so put 65 60 and then 125 minus 60 so 65 are only jogging and then uh, 115 are only swimming okay so if you add all of those numbers the number of elements in the union set okay so j union s will be how much 65 plus 60 plus 115 so how how much is that i think uh, it will be 180 plus 60 so that's 240 guys are we okay as the numbers okay yes yeah. now out of 450 240 are participating in uh, either of these uh, two activities so the rest are doing nothing right so the rest are eating and sleeping so they'll grow fat <laughs> so rest how many are there who are neither uh, like to jog nor like to swim uh, so, 250 uh, so the answer should be 210 then some okay harsha yes okay uh, so do you guys understand how to use this venn diagram to solve these kind of problems yes sir okay so let's okay. practice one more okay okay now here uh, we don't know what this a b stand for okay uh, but i think uh, you guys remember what this comp uh, what is that uh, symbol mean complement it's outside that yeah. uh, set uh, outside that set very good so now uh, u stands for some universal set okay you can take universal and then 
A could be like your uh, number of students playing cricket or B could be football, things like that. You, you can imagine anything. So what uh, I want you guys to do is uh, draw a Venn diagram and then see if you can answer this question. Okay, so I will uh, pause uh, for a minute or so. Okay. Yeah. We'll try this one. Yeah, try this one. Okay. So, Harsha, what you're saying is uh, number of elements at A complement, intersection B complement is first figure out what is A complement, figure out what is B complement and their intersection. Harsha, does that answer your question, Harsha? Yes, sir. Uh, so, you need to figure out uh, when you draw the Venn diagram, see what region represents complement of uh, A. And then what region represents complement of B? And then they will be overlapping, right? So their intersection will be some set. So that set has how many elements? That is what we need to find. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, so Om is saying 300. Harsha, you have any answer? Yeah, sure. same 300. Same 300. So let's verify this. Okay. So again, we'll go slowly. So there is a universal set here. We don't know what that universal set is. So we'll just put a rectangle and then say, okay, so this is my universal set. Okay. How many are there? There are 700. Okay. So in the universal set, in that rectangle region, you, you there are 700 elements. Okay. Now there are two sets, A and B. So you have two circles to represent uh, each. So that is A and definitely there is an overlapping region. So that is B. Now first, the numbers are given, but first understand uh, what is that they're really looking at. So let's say what is uh, A's complement? A's complement will be not A. Right. So okay. if you look at A, outside A, so I can kind of put, let's say, this blue shading, you see that. Okay. So this blue shading, if, if you imagine. So this entire thing, blue shading thing. Okay. So maybe it's a good idea to uh, initially go slow and then say, okay, whatever I have this blue shading. This represents my A complement. Okay, so that represents A complement. Now let's look at B complement. Maybe I'll use a different color here. So let's use this, I think, pink. Okay, so B's complement will be, I'll do the same thing. Okay, not B. So maybe I'll just try to represent this uh, with vertical lines, let's say. Okay. Now, this initially, I encourage you to do this, okay, because you will understand better. So, as you do more and more problems, maybe you don't need to do this kind of thing, but I think initially it is fun, okay, so you'll enjoy this. Okay, now, if you represent uh, the set, okay, so this is your B's complement, right? Now, do you, you, you can picture by C. Now, do you see the region where you have A intersection, sorry, A complement, intersection B complement? That is basically which region? That is outside A union B. Do you see that? Outside A union B is where you have A intersection, A complement, intersection B complement. Do you guys understand? Yes. So the idea here is if you actually see a complement intersection B's complement, it is actually U minus A union B. Can I say this? You're actually taking away union of A and B from the universal set. Okay. Now, if you can uh, figure out 
the number of elements in a union b you are done right so if you can figure out how many are there in a union b you are done so intersecting me how many are there there are 100 okay number of elements in a is 200 so number of elements in a only will be what 100 number of elements in set b is 300 number of elements in b only will be 300 minus 100 so that is 200 now, if you add all these numbers, you'll get number of elements in A union B. So 100, 100 and 200, so that's 400. So the number of elements outside this A union B, which is number of elements in A intersection, sorry, A complement intersection B complement is 700 minus 400, 300. Very good, I'm happy. So you guys understood. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, but see, this kind of drawing pictures, you should enjoy, okay? That is what I can say. Initially, go slow, enjoy, understand. Don't worry about speed. Okay, first of all, it's important to understand. Okay, things to understand, things to enjoy, it's more important hai, rather than speed. Okay, so let's try one more, okay? Okay, so I'll uh, pause here for a minute or so. Try this. Okay, so let's discuss this. Okay, so here uh, we are dealing with operations on sets, but uh, drawing a Venn diagram may be helpful, but uh, not really necessary here. Okay, now, first of all, can I find the greatest number which divides both these numbers? What is the greatest number? 200. What is it called? GCD, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, greatest common divisor which divides both 400 and uh, 1000. What is that? How do you find that? Uh, finding out HCF of both. Finding out HCF. So what is HCF of uh, 400 and 1000? Uh, uh, 200. 200, right? So HCF is 200. Now, 200 is going to divide both 400 and 1000. Now, can I say any factor of 200 will divide 400 and 1000? See, if I, if I take any factor of 200, okay, any number that divides 200, okay, so any factor of 200 divides 400 and 1000 uh, are you catching this point yeah. so that will give me the number of elements in that intersecting region okay so now how do you find the number of factors of a number so what you should do is you should always express the number using the prime factors, powers of prime factors. So if you take 200, it's like 100 into 2, first of all. 100 is 10 square. So you can actually write this as 2 cube into 5 square. Is that okay? So 200 yeah. can be written as 2 cube into 5 square. Now pay attention here, guys. Uh, the power of 2 is 3. The power of 5 is 2. So what this means is if I'm trying to generate all the factors of 200, okay, generate all the factors of 200 from 2 to the power 3. Okay, so from here, I can pick any number from 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 square, 2 cube. I can pick any of these numbers. Okay, I can pick any of these numbers and then that number will divide 200. Okay, if that number divides 200, it will definitely divide 400 and 1000. You're catching this point? So if I have 2 to the power 3, I know that 2 to the power 0 is something that will uh, divide 200. 2 to the power 1 will divide, 2 square will divide, 2 cube will divide. So I can take any of these. So we are trying to count uh, the number of factors here. 
So similarly, if you look at uh, phi square, you can do the same thing. Okay, so you can either take phi to the power zero, phi to the power one, and then phi square. So that means out of these numbers, I can pick any four. Out of these numbers, I can pick any three. So you are kind of doing uh, that counting hmm, permutations idea. So we will, which we will learn in detail later on. But right now, I can take any of these four numbers. Once I take any of these four numbers, I can take any of these three numbers. So the number of common factors. Okay, so number of. I think we should just say factors, number of factors of 200. Okay, so these are of 200 will be four into three. So that is 12. Now, if you are planning to list them, okay, so what you can do is, uh, you can actually take this uh, 200, which is two cube into five square. What is happening guys? I think I should go back to notability. Good notes and notability is other uh, select there. Five square is okay. So what we can do is you can build a table. Okay, so you can build a table saying that okay, two to the power zero, two to the power one ka, two square ka, two cube ka. Similarly, uh, you can say three to the five to the power zero, five to the power one, five square. So you, you see this table to understand. So you can say that if I have this matrix, if I multiply, let's say if I multiply two to the power zero and five to the power zero, whatever number I get, that will divide 200. Okay, so that two to the power zero and five to the power zero, that is one. Okay, two to the power zero is one and then five to the power one. So that is 10. So that is going to divide uh, 200. And then 2 to the power 0, 1. And then this 25, that is going to divide 200. Similarly, 2 to the power 1. And then 5 to the power 0. So that is 2. That is going to divide uh, 200. And then 2 to the power 1 multiplied by 5 to the power 1. So that is, again, 10. The problem here is, we have already... Did we already count this? Or am I making a mistake, guys? Uh, there, uh, there, uh... It is, I think, 5, sir, because... Ha, I made a mistake here. So, this is actually 5. Okay, I said, no, you not say here, right? And then to, this one will be 50. Now, you get the idea here. How do you get all the factors if you are trying to get? So, 4 and then this is 20 and then this will be 4 into 25. So, that's 100. And similarly here, 8. And then 8 into 5, 40, and then 200. Now, this is to understand. Okay. But quickly, what can you do? You know that, okay, once I write 200 as the powers of uh, prime factors, 2 cube and then 5 square, I know by looking at the power, I can take that power uh, to be either 0 or 1. I shouldn't say use either, but it can be any from 0 to 3, right? 0, 1, 2, 3. Similarly, by looking at the power of 2, power of 5, which is 2, I can either take 0, 1, 2. So basically, the problem converts into a simpler counting problem. Okay, Permutations and combinations are a problem. So I have four choices here. For each of this choice, I have three choices here. So, 4 into 3, so there are 12 common factors, right? So, if uh, these 12 numbers are dividing 200, those are the numbers dividing 400 and 1000. So, the answer has to be 12. Okay, do you guys understand this? Yes, sir. Uh, so, ye sets ke problems may beach beach me up knowledge of uh, permutations and combinations will come i think you had a little bit in 10th class right uh, no, permutation combination you had no, no? okay no. i think wo bhi humko karna padega humko kya karna padega na parallelly humko bahut sare cheeze start karna padega jaise inequalities ho modulus function ho and then uh, counting because counting is very important. Hai, 
तो काउंटिंग भी सीखेंगे हम ओके ठीक है सो डू यू गेस अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रॉब्लम एनी क्वेश्चन हियर उंड uh what do you say uh, highest uh, hcf so in that case whatever uh, i mean whatever number is a factor of 500 will also be a factor of 1000 yes in that case you can just write n of x you are right okay om you follow this uh, yeah yes sir okay so le- let's uh, uh again the what you need to understand is jo uh, cbsc or any board uh, will have problems like this these are okay but uh, since you guys will also be preparing for um, mains slowly uh, jay there the idea is uh, you will learn a particular topic but the problems that you finally face will be a mixture of topics they they try to design problems where two three chapters are used okay so that that's usually the pattern so if you learn your basics well you should be able to solve the problems okay so aapko starting mein go slow understand everything that you learn okay so understanding is the key aapko samajhna bahut important hai no ठीक है, so let's try this. Okay, so this again should be an easy Venn diagram problem. So I'll wait for a few minutes. Try this one. Let's know. Okay, so let let's verify. Huh? So again, uh, what do we do here first uh, to represent the number of uh, persons in the town? We have this rectangle. That's the universal set. Okay, so there are uh, put that number eight forty, and then there are only two languages here. So one circle to represent uh, people speaking Hindi, another circle to represent uh, people who speak English. Now we want to find uh, the number of persons who speak neither of these languages. So that means we want this region. Okay, so in this region, how many? people are there okay so first i think start with the intersecting one okay so if you start with the intersecting one uh, there are 200 who speak both okay and then there are 450 who speak hindi so how many speak hindi only 450 minus 200 so that's 250 300 speak uh, english so how many speak 100. only english 100 so the number of persons speaking either of these languages which is h union e will be i add all these three numbers so that's uh, how much uh, for 550 that's 550 so number of uh, persons who speak neither of these languages will be 840 minus 550 so i think that's 290 yeah so are we okay here yeah okay so let's try one more okay so so again it's it's the same question so would you to try okay so I'll... okay so here again uh, what we can do is the, the number is not given but it's the percentage so what you can do is again you can draw that uh, rectangle to represent the uh, universal set so instead of like number of people you can just put a 100 right so you can say 100 100% you can imagine that there are 100 people only and then people who travel by bus can be one set so let's call that b and then who travel by car is another set let's call that c 
so again like the previous problem we want to understand what percentage of people lie outside this b union c okay so we neither uh, use one of these transport modes now start with the intersecting part so how many are traveling by both so that is 10 percent and then 20% uh, travel by car so the remaining 10% car only 50% travel by bus so the remaining 50 minus 10 40 only bus so the number of uh, let's say people who either use bus or car in terms of percentage okay so these are percentage numbers so that is 60 so then we want our required answer is 40 percent very good very good Okay, so let us move on. Okay, so now you have three sets. Instead of two sets, you have three sets. Okay, so you remember uh, the Venn diagram. Now you should have three circles. You guys understand? Yeah. Okay, so now take some time. I'll give you maybe more than two, three minutes, and then we will discuss this. Okay, yeah. Okay, Harsha, say that again. 33%, sir. 33%. Okay. So 33% in percentage, but uh, in terms of number of families? Uh, How many families be, are there? Uh, yeah. It would be 3,300. Very good. Okay. So it should be 3,300. Harsha, you get that? Yes, sir. I didn't see that family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here I think, yes, first you figure out uh, in terms of percentage, how many buy newspaper only, A only. And then since the number is given anyway, uh, it's 10,000, you can easily find. It. Okay, so let's start the discussion. Okay, so again, uh, where do we start with? We have this universal set represented by a rectangle. Mm -hmm. okay, I, don't, I think it could be because of low charging. Next time, say I'll charge it properly. Okay, so that is the uh, let's say families reading all the newspapers. That's the universal set. Okay, then uh, it is said that. 2% of the families by, okay, so let, let, let us uh, use this, okay, so let us, uh, they're saying the newspapers A, B, and C are read in a town of 10,000 people. So, are there any people who don't read any of these newspapers? Do you think so? Mm -hmm. Newspapers A, B, and C are read in a town of 10,000 families, but... Uh, let, let's draw the circles and then try to answer that question as well. Okay. So let's say I have three circles now. Okay. So A, B, and C. Okay. I think I need to draw slightly. I need an intersect array. <laughs> one second. Let me increase this. Okay. And then one more set. Okay. Circle, ellipse, anything is fine. Okay, guys. So I have A, I have B, and then C. Now start the, I think you get the general idea. If you start with the uh, common part to all of three, things will become easy in terms of calculation. Okay. So I, I'm happy that you are able to see that point. So 2% of the families read all the, because he is only talking about the percentages are given out of these families. So that means there cannot be any persons outside. Okay, so that is the first thing that you need to understand. Hmm? So we can say out of these families, 100% represents the families. And then 2% by all the newspapers. So put that two in exactly in the middle. And then work backwards. It is important to work backwards. But again, guys, uh, this may not be a good strategy if you are writing you are, uh, let's say, oh, I don't know, the five marks question or four marks question, whatever it appears in CBSC. For CBSC, you need to write in detail. Mm -hmm. 
but i think that when you put the diagram and explain they should give you marks okay but you need to write in detail what you are trying to do <clears throat> now let's work backwards okay so 3% by b and c okay so 3% by b and c oh sorry or you can have this 4% by a and c and then maybe 5% by a and b let's start with 5% buying a and b now out of 5% 2% by all three so only a and b this region do you see this region so there you can place 3% okay so there you place 3% then 3% by b and c so take a look at this region so there i think uh, i know the representation is very bad because 3% ka region jyada rehna chahiye right so this is not really drawn to scale so i'm getting 1% here okay because i don't know na before drawing i don't know and then uh, 4% by a and c so that means the 2% here now again still go backwards so 40% by a so out of that 40 3 plus 2 plus 2 so that is 7 so that means 33% by only a so you guys get the point now we are done right so that is what we want okay so 33% by only a so out of 10000 so that means 3300 very good you're okay yes sir okay so let's try one more okay so try this one it's a similar problem so try i'll uh, wait for few minutes okay so let's discuss i think what harsha is saying is maybe i did not or i forgot to type down the number of students who are who have taken uh, let's say all the three okay let's see okay then what do we do first take a rectangle to represent all student so put a number there 175 so how many subjects maths physics and chemistry okay so let's take three circles or ellipses okay so this is maths and physics and chemistry so what is that we are interested we are interested in maths only right maths only <clears throat> uh so as uh, he says it is not given how many but are there any students uh, who are in this region harsha uh, who are no. not who have not taken any of uh, the subjects no so when i'm counting it like the chemistry is getting in negative acha you're getting it negative let's let's see let's see okay so the number of uh, students studying all three subjects is not given right but yes. we want this region okay yeah. so we want this region so what we can do is since the students are studying uh, at least one of these subjects so we we know that uh, outside this a union b union c sorry uh, m union p union c that is zero you guys understand okay outside that union so that's zero so we'll start with the common part the common part to all the three subjects let's put x there okay let's put x there okay now we need to find that right so how can you find that i think you you, you can kind of uh, use this but maybe this time what i will do is as a practice let us use that formula so we have n of uh, number of uh, let's say elements in m union p union c will be uh, 
pencil is giving me trouble are it is 96% chance to still it is not writing guys one second I'll, i'll just charge it and then see. so let's see hmm? so if i am uh, like taking uh, the union of all three so we have seen this right it will be first you add number of uh, elements in one set one set only sorry <laughs> number of elements in uh, physics uh, what is happening hmm. <laughs> yes. so maybe i get it's a new page sir it's a new page that is why yeah sir ah okay okay maybe i'll, I'll try to write it here okay yeah uh that is what is happening beta hmm. so number of elements in maths plus number of elements in physics number of elements in chemistry now you subtract all these right remember yeah. m intersection p minus uh, p intersection c minus c intersection m and then you know when we actually subtracted you would have removed that completely so you add that back m intersection p intersection c now harsha can we use this to get uh, that value of x once you have the value of x you can work backwards right yes sir so now let us substitute here so 175 overall students so this is 175 number of uh, students studying maths is 100 physics 70 chemistry 40 okay so 100 plus 70 40 and number of students studying uh, maths and physics 30 28 18 okay so you add all those 30 28 18 okay then plus the number of students studying all the subjects all the three subjects okay so let's do the calculations here 175 so 170 plus uh, 40 so that is 210 minus what do we have 58 68 76 just check the calculations guys 58 uh, okay plus number of uh, students here and then 210 minus 76 will be how much uh, 54 uh, 54 uh, no 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 One see let, let's let's remove uh, 70 from uh, 210 if you remove 70 from 210 that's 140 right Yes, so one forty minus six one thirty four. Ah, thirty four. Yeah, one thirty four. One thirty four. So number of students taking all subjects will be one seventy five minus one thirty four. So if I do that, how much am I getting? Forty one. Arsha, you are okay. Yeah, okay, sir. Forty one. So now you go back and work backwards. So X is actually forty one. Okay, but we are interested in this region, right? We are interested in that region. So, how many students study uh, maths and uh, physics? Ah, huh, the numbers are uh, problem here, right? Maths and physics is thirty, so I cannot have forty one right here. Yeah. Okay, so data is incorrect. But let us see. Uh, did we make any calculation mistakes? so overall 175 tha i think this problem has a problem huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. so, how much is this uh, 100 170 plus 40 210 and then uh, 30 28 18 okay so this is 58 68 76 so that is not a problem and then 210 minus 76 uh, would be 
140, 134. So if I remove 134 from here, I should be 40. No, I think the data is incorrect. Okay, you can check this again, but I think the data is incorrect. So we'll skip this. We'll skip this. Okay. So I think we can stop here, guys. Huh? So the remaining problems you will try, we'll discuss okay. on Sunday. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do.